Welcome back. Let's take a look at puzzles from last time, as I've made at least one mistake. Shocking, I know, right? Me make a mistake on Shogi Wars? What are the odds? So, here's a game I think that I played yesterday. Yeah. And I have a choice between moving my silver up or dropping a bishop on 7-7. Seven, seven. Well, one of these is what I played, the other is the correct move. There's no way that I moved the silver up. I certain, almost certainly dropped the bishop here, because that's just my tendency. That if I can drop it and make an excuse for having dropped it, that's just what I tend to do. This is the calmer way to handle the position leaving open the possibility that I could drop the bishop anywhere at any time. And yeah, this is just reasonable. What I did apparently is insane. Uh, oh right, this thing. You remember this? Yeah, this happened. This is so horrible. All right, so the way to survive is don't let that happen. And so I get in check, and I have to block the check, and then they run, and then we defend the file. Apparently I can't do anything more aggressive and get away with it. And, you know, just play a game. And it's pretty even. That would have been the level-headed approach to the position. Shall we attempt to play some level-headed games today? Eh, why not, right? Let's do it. Also, welcome forward in. <laughs> Good luck. Bishop exchange, it says. Well, can they play bishop exchange if I don't open the diagonal? I've always wondered. Like, how do you exchange bishops if the diagonal's closed? Or am I just making this up? Um, all right. So I can't exactly defend the center point very easily here. All right, and they do have a pawn in hand, and I'm not alarmed. I don't see any cause for alarm here. Um, just push my pawn. And it's fine, maybe, probably, hopefully. So many qualifiers. Um, but yeah. Totally normal position where nothing is hanging. Alright, so what do we do now? Now that I've made a mess of things. They're threatening a pawn drop here. So I need to respond. And so, yeah, my silver move basically passed the turn here. Uh, let's do this, because why not? And then let's get this little effect. Or do I have to move the king over for the effect to... There we go. There. We got the effect. Is it good? I don't know. Alright, their king is on this line, so... My bishop might be on that line soon. Um, hmm. hmm, let's do it this way. Why not? Give us all something more to think about. Hmm. Okay. Wait, do I do the thing again? I don't understand this position. Oh boy. Uh, sure, why not? I just don't get it. Maybe I should have moved my bishop instead of provoking this. Um, but we all know I like to provoke things and see where we end up. 
A vulgar move may be brilliant, is our proverb. So, let's see how brilliant this is. Alright, so I could sack my rook for fun, but I don't have to. I can go over here and attack this point. Okay, they take my pawn, I take their pawn. This looked interesting to me. More interesting than allowing them to just resume this attack unabated. So, I don't think this pawn's an asset. Maybe it is, but I'm not so sure. Either way, it is a pawn, so I'm prone to take it if it's offered. But I don't know if they're seriously offering this. Nope, they're not. Alright. Um, what do I do? F well, they could use a rook more effectively than I could use a bishop here. So I don't want the bishop just yet. Um, I kind of like having my open file. But I would get something of an initiative if I took this. The prospect of them getting a rook is terrifying, but yeah, I don't see what I could do with the bishop. Let's go back. I wussed out. Oh well. I tried. Oh my. Well then. Um... Interesting. Hmm. They're going to use this goal to defend this point. There's no point in my moving the bishop to attack it. Unless there's some tactics None somewhere. Maybe there is. If I were to exchange rooks, that's different than getting a rook for a bishop. Um... So, let's consider a rook exchange. Especially because this is the weakness. I don't want to exchange on this diagonal, which would just strengthen this bishop and give this bishop some purpose. I'm more liking the idea that they move this up and give me tons of space to drop things behind. Or that uh, we exchange rooks, or otherwise get my rook into their camp. Whatever it takes for my rook to end up in the middle of their camp is where I want to go. Alright. My rook will now be in their camp. This looks fun. I don't think they have time to drop it. They want to, but I don't think they have time for that. And it's not clear to me how this defends against any of my attacks over here. Let me check. My video capture looks fine. Nice. Okay. This point is defended twice. They've defended against rook drops in the simplest possible manner. Uh, I thought I had something here. Uh, I was convinced I had something. Well, this is going to look ridiculous, isn't it? I really want the rook to be in their camp, but I don't see how to make that happen. So plan B is defend against all of their rook drops by dropping the rook. So I've activated my bishop in this bizarre fashion. Their camp looks all over the place. Mine isn't much better. But this seems necessary, so... Yeah. What a mess. Should they drop the rook, I probably drop my pawn. And God knows where we end up next. My pawn doesn't seem to have anywhere else useful to be dropped, since I have pawns on every file. And no easy way to remove them. 
other than this file. So, yeah, it's complex, isn't it? Hmm. Well, at least they're as stumped as I am. In chess, you might say, I offer a draw. <laughs> In shogi, there are no draws. Not of that sort. Uh, nice. Interesting. Well, I don't have much choice in this matter, do I? Um, I think I have this covered. Let's do it. I think I'm okay. I'm not happy about it, but I think I'm fine. So if they drop a pawn immediately on my lance's head, I know what to do about that. It's the rest of this that's a bit complicated. If they push this pawn, I guess that gains a tempo. Um, but also leaves the lance... Well, the silver's not prone. It's defended by a gold, but I could still take it in rook takes or vice versa. Probably vice versa. Yeah. All right. You get my bishop. I get your bishop. And this happens with gain of tempo. Or rather, the opponent gains a tempo here. And... I'm probably in deep doo-doo and just don't see it yet. It's very spooky. Hmm. I don't know. My rook is not happy. Hmm, what to do? Okay, I have some ideas. Let's try this. Gofun. They're gonna drop a pawn, and I saw that. But then I take here. I guess they do have two pawns. They don't need to worry so much about saving this pawn. But... Okay, that's a move. Um. Hmm. I don't understand it. No, actually, it makes a lot of sense. Okay. Well then. Let's take this. Let's do this again. I want to sack here, and then they defend this silver, and then my rook swings over this way. Okay. Well, let's do it. No time like the present. Yes, the silver is protected, but what do I care? Hmm, not the response I was hoping for. All right. Are they going to defend this point again? Am I going to take it yet once more? How's this going to play? Uh, that looks like a misdrop. Thanks for the game. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I don't know. That was a good game. Sorry it had to end that way. Well played.
good luck. I think it's more an issue with the time control than anything else here, if I had to guess. Lots of stuff can happen in this time control. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Case in point, I don't remember this shit. So, um... This, maybe? Okay. The effect confirms that I've not screwed this up too badly. It's been a while. Okay, and then I can protect this point. Sure. Okay, I've done two castling moves. Two is enough. Um... One is, well, now the opponent continues building their castle, so I'll resume mine. They continue, I continue. We both continue. And we've played Bishop Exchange and I've moved my center pawn, which they tell you not to do. All right. So, this maybe? I don't know. There's some way to play this. And then this too? Because, like, this is the weak point. Heck if I know what to do about this. Um, sure, why not? Okay, they blocked the diagonal. Um, Every time I drop my bishop, I do it wrong. We're dropping the bishop. All right. We'll look forward to hearing how we did it wrong. Because um, I don't know how better to do this. I can move the knight and then push the pawn, right? Knight, silver, pawn, takes, takes, gold, promote, takes, takes. I don't see it. Show me. What's up? All right, you get my knight. Okay. That doesn't stop me from moving here, you know. Am I... What is this? Oh, my rook's not behind the pawn. <laughs> I thought my rook was on this file. Okay, well... Okay, facts. We're in a universe where facts seem not to matter, maybe? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, they're having the rook on the file. I, I That's what I was trying to indicate earlier. The rook's not actually there this time. So... Uh, okay. Okay. Let me adjust to this situation. Our knight's hanging, so let's deal with that. Um, yeah, I guess the silver takes back? No. The hell? Just when I start to think I understand this game. Um, the heck is this? Knight drop, free gold, silver offsides, bishop prone, rook still not doing anything. So yeah, trading your knight for a gold might be of some value. Exchanging a pawn for a gold if my rook were here would definitely have value. If I bring the rook over to threaten that, they'll move their king, and then this pin is gone. We'll move it somewhere, not there, but you get the idea. Is the pin gone? Rook over, king over, promote, take, take, whatever. The rook's still blocked here. Okay, this looks too exciting. Let's do it. Let's do it.
They don't have a pawn in hand. They can't block this file. My bishop's going to get harassed here, but eh, whatever. It's just a bishop. We'll just sack all the things to break the castle. Mm. That's the goal, right? Mm. Get the king. We don't really care about a bishop as much as we care about the king. This rook being cut off by the silver and the silver being unable to move looks fatal. Um, so... Okay. I don't understand your point. I have a knight drop now that looks even more fatal than it looked earlier. Like, I don't get it. Uh, I mean, something either kills you or it doesn't. There's not really a concept of more fatal, but... Yeah, I... You got me. Okay... This is a pin. To be fair, it's like 2 a.m. Japan time. But, uh... Something don't look right. Do I drop a pawn? Yeah, Gofu. there's multiple reasons for me to drop a pawn here. Let's drop a pawn here. For a second there, I'm like, wait, why would I drop something undefended on this square? One point would be is if it weren't defended, bishop takes, I advance my silver, and I gain a free tempo. But two, it's actually defended by my dragon. So we don't even need to worry about that. Um, interesting. Okay. Uh, let me think this through. Bishop takes, gold takes, check, no, no. Knight drop first, or do I check first? I want the knight close by, but if the king runs and then I lose the knight, that's no good. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. Check. Yes, my dragon's floating. It's, nothing's defending it. That's fine. If they block... Okay, I'm sorry. I was only thinking about the gold blocking. I forgot this is an option. But still, I can block this diagonal again. So even though they're threatening this... Oh, I could do that. Should I do it? Well, I have a knight. <laughs> the knight could block. Uh, That would be weird. The bishop could block, and then I'd get a bishop in hand? A bishop would be a nice attacking piece. Sure. Because otherwise, they just push this, and you know, it's bad news for me. So now I could have a bishop. Yep, so they see that. They don't want that happening. I'm not sure how much choice they have in the matter. Um, dragon here. Okay. They do get to take this pawn. <laughs> they get to take it, they don't. Um... That's fine. Nifun so confused. What are we doing? Hmm. 
All right, so I should probably take this free pawn. Hmm. That loses a tempo. It'd be nice to attack and defend at the same time, wouldn't it? Nifun. Okay, I have an idea. That's an idea. So the next idea is night drop here. Um, maybe I should have dropped this closer, but here it also threatens to cut off the rook if some disaster happens. Oh, I definitely... Well, no, if I drop it closer, it hangs. Um, they're trying to protect this point. Or rather, they're succeeding at protecting it. Mark my annoyance. Alright, fine. You win, you get your tempo. Show me what you do with the tempo. This, anyway. All right. Now uh, that defends many things, but does not defend this. Hmm. I'm in time pressure. Time to talk. Nijibio.
10秒。I don't know. I panicked. Well played. All right. Two down, one to go. Good luck. I helped him come out of a losing streak. All right. Well, at least one of us profits for that. All right, how do I play this? <laughs> I mean, it's looking really nice. It's looking really, really nice. They've got everything pointed at this square, though. But I can drop a pawn. Well, actually, if I don't drop the pawn, I'll never get to. So that seems like a foregone conclusion that we do this. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take one of those. Maybe I took the wrong way, I don't know. I think I'm doing fine. This tends to be the moment where things go horribly wrong, but so far I think I'm doing fine. Um...
That looks like a misdrop. Well, no, I guess dropping here wouldn't do anything directly. Oh, it prevents my rook from promoting. Okay, sure. I guess that's a thing. Is something going to defend this? If something defends this, what's defending that? I'm trying to read the message and my opponent keeps moving. It's okay. I'm trying to read the message in chat. Gosh darn it, give me a second to think here. <laughs> uh, all right. Goodness, I'm trying to read the message. No? When's it get to be my turn to read the message? All right, so looking at the chat, if you don't have time to... Never mind. Okay, we'll keep moving. If you don't have time to study Shogi, make sure to do the Shogi quest. Thanks for the Daily problems at minimum, and ideally play all three of your games. Warm players tend to rust since they have a weak foundation, so it's important to stay in shape. Okay. Sorry about whatever that was there. That's entirely me. But yeah, practice helps. Yeah, if you're not doing chess or shogi or go or whatever, that um, you can fall out of practice. Uh, so it seems like interesting advice. It's probably easier to do props than to play full games, but regardless, uh, yeah, hope we enjoyed these games today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.